Okay. We're getting into this cocktail. Lots going on with this cocktail. This cocktail doesn't seem like it would make sense. It's basically just a perfect rum Manhattan with a little bit of bitters and a little bit of absinthe. But because Don Beach created it in the 1970s-ish, he gets to call it whatever he wants. That's his right. And you know what he called it? He called it the Beachcomber's Gold which is confusing because he already had a Beachcomber's Gold cocktail that he created in the 1930s. So over time, he decided, hey, this Beachcomber Gold thing, this, this is either he said, oh, this is doing really well, or he's saying, oh, this is, uh, 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 cut this off. Let's change it all around. It's an interesting cocktail because other than the rum, there's not a lot of tropical going on in here. Let's get into this. This is the second version of this cocktail with this name that we have seen. It kind of shows the evolution of a cocktail. Before we start, we have to start the ice cone if we're going to have an ice cone for tonight that is going to be working. So let's get our ice cone ready. The only way that I can get this to work with the proper consistency to make a perfect ice cone is with a Lewis bag. So, mallet. We are going to hit this as hard as we can until we can get some nice flat ice. We don't want this to be decimated. We just want it to be not so chunky that we can recognize whole cubes. So, I feel good about that. Bring an ice cam. That's what we want. You see that there is lots of chunky ice in there, but it isn't like big chunky ice. It's just normal chunky ice. Just, just trust me. This is what we need. Luckily, they sell these little squeezers in the orange variety. That's the size we want. It's a perfect size for what we're about to do. We're gonna take our ice. We're gonna dump it right in here. There we go. Now, bring an ice cam again. There are some big pieces in here. I don't want these large pieces. I want just the like medium chunked ice. And we're gonna give this a squeeze. Maybe adjust it a little bit in here. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Until you get something that looks like this. That is what we want. Now, we're going to flip it and we're gonna start doing a little tapping. Nice, easy tapping. Oh, I felt it fall. Okay. This is what we got. This one kind of fell apart, but that's all right. We got this thing, it's this ice ball. We're gonna take a glass like this. We're gonna put this right there in the glass and we're going right to our freezer and we're gonna lay it on its side. Thus, we can hope that it's now gonna freeze inside of the glass and stand up like that, giving us that really cool wave look. Let's make the rest of this cocktail. <laughs> Very simple cocktail, and if you didn't know any better, you might just call this an improved, perfect rum Manhattan. That's not what Don called it, so that's not what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it Beachcomber's Gold. This right here is Bacardi. It's a white Puerto Rican style rum. You can also get away in the United States with calling this a white Cuban style rum. One and a half ounces of some white Cuban rum. Now you'll notice I'm pouring this into a blender, like the blending cup. We're gonna be blending it and then we're gonna be straining it. I don't know, I've only been doing this, I think 20 years at this point. I've never seen it happen before, but we're gonna try it today. Some people will call this stuff Italian vermouth. That is the correct thing to call it. You can also call it sweet vermouth and most people will know what you're talking about. They think you're gonna talk about, you're talking about the red vermouth. We need half an ounce of some sweet red Italian vermouth. I mentioned before, this is basically a perfect rum Manhattan. Perfect does not mean that it's the best way you can possibly make it, there are no flaws. Instead, it means that we're splitting the vermouth base. This is the other base of vermouth that we're putting in here. This is the extra dry vermouth, otherwise known as French vermouth. French vermouth is white and dry. So you can say I want dry vermouth and most of the time you will get a white dry vermouth and we need half of an ounce of some French vermouth. We're gonna take some of this uh, bitters. This is Angostura bitters, normally looks like this. And we're gonna be putting in two dashes of some Angostura bitters. 
I called this something else a minute ago. I said it was like an improved perfect rum Manhattan. What does improved mean? Improved means that you add some absinthe. You can also, to make a, a cocktail improved, you can add some of this, maraschino liqueur. Both of those, in the old parlance of cocktailing, meant that you were improving the cocktail. I don't know where that came from, but if you say I want an improved old fashioned, it means you're putting absinthe or maraschino liqueur in here. So we need six dashes of some absinthe going in here. I know it seems like I'm doing more dashes than I need to, but these are half dashers. All right, more ice, just so that it fills up the liquid here. And then we are going to give this a very, very fast blend. Where did I put my blender? Oh, it's up here. We need to blend this for a very, it's called a flash blend. All we're trying to do is break this up a little bit. We're only gonna go for about five seconds. So here we go, ready one? Oh, should we bring in this? Let's bring in a blend cam. Oh, that's, woo, too close. Ready? We don't want this to be like an icy slushy. We want it to still have some of those little chunkules hanging out there. Let's bring out our glass and we are going to double strain this cocktail into our glass that has the ice shell in here. I suppose the idea is that we don't want a bunch of chunks, but we do want this to be extra cold. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I know I promised this a little bit ago and then I completely forgot to do it. We are gonna put this onto the drink spinner today. That's too much. Now I never know how to turn this off. So is it a hold? Oh yeah, it's a hold. Boom, there we have it. The other thing that I thought was funny about this is you have to serve this with short straws. And it turns out I do have short straws. So we're gonna put short straws on this one. Two little short straws right there. The 1970s version of the Beachcombers Gold. It is a cocktail with an ice shell a technique that I now believe that you can all do after seeing the uh, ice shell that I just completed. I, or it's only gonna be me drinking this. I don't know why there's two. I'm just gonna put one in here. This did eventually evolve into a much more tropical cocktail. It started as a more tropical cocktail. It evolved into this, and then it will evolve in the 1980s, possibly as Don Beach's very last cocktail into a much more tropical cocktail with things like passion fruit. In the meanwhile, let's see what, uh, what we think about this one. Cheers. I can't fault it. It's exactly what you think it's going to be. As long as you can see the structure of what a cocktail is, uh, you don't just get blinded by the names. This is a improved, perfect white rum Manhattan. It'd be very honest. I would never drink this with a straw unless I needed to get who wasted as quickly as possible. Uh, drinking with straws for some reason uh, gets me there a little quicker. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna drink it uh, like this. Cheers. Oh, it's perfect. It's delicious. Don't forget guys to like and subscribe and comment and share whatever you see on this channel. Even if it's not this video, even if it's some other video, you're like, oh, I remember that other video. I'm gonna share that other video, not this one. I don't like how this one went, but the other ones, so good. I'm gonna like and comment and share and subscribe through all of that stuff because that keeps us under ice shells. If you like to see ice shells and other fun cocktail bits, like and subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. It's all free, that's all free stuff. So do that, cheers.